finished product today will be an exit sign fabricated with Lasermax Crimson White. We begin with a piece of material that is large enough to accommodate our project. For this application, we will leave the protective masking in place for our vector cut as this will minimize post-fabrication cleanup. Place the sheet on the laser bed and align it to the corner of the starting position of your laser. With our graphic prepared, we'll send the vector portion of the file to the laser which will cut the perimeter of the sign out of the material. When the vector cut is complete, we will remove the protective masking from the sign blank. Next, we will adjust our raster settings to ensure optimal results and then send the raster engraving portion of our job to the laser. When raster engraving large areas or graphics, it can be beneficial to set the laser's resolution to a lower than normal setting. A setting of 400 dpi will help minimize banding in the engraving and offer a much cleaner finished graphic. Remember from our previous session that we always want to ensure we have set the laser to bottom up engraving. So it will start engraving from the bottom of the graphic. This helps to minimize the residue being exhausted back over previously engraved areas as the job progresses. During the raster engraving, you may notice that the laser is not engraving completely through the surface of the sheet on the first pass. Again, this is quite normal with larger graphics, which will then require a second cleanup pass. Keep in mind, it's not necessarily a good idea to increase the power of the laser in an effort to ablate the cap of the sheet in a single pass, as this can cause excessive heat buildup, stress your material, and cause warp. Romark recommends running an additional pass to minimize this issue. Once the second pass is complete, inspect your engraving to ensure all areas of the surface engraved through cleanly. At that point, the job can be removed from the laser for final cleanup. When cleaning an engraved sign, it is important to prevent any residue from settling in the engraved areas as they can still be warm and the residue will re-adhere, making cleanup a challenge. Romark's recommendation for effective material cleanup is to use warm water, mild dish soap, and a soft cloth or sponge to gently remove any remaining residue. Once the soap has been rinsed away, simply dry the sign by wiping down with a clean dry cloth. And now your sign is ready to be mounted.